identifying points on the Cartesian coordinate system is actually pretty simple. Um, really, you just take a look at where the y value is and where the x value is. And the important point is to make sure as you're writing down the value, you write everything in the right order. Um, a point is always labeled as the x coordinate with a comma and then the y coordinate and the whole thing in parentheses. So what we do is look from the origin, which is always 0, 0, 0 on the x-axis and 0 on the y-axis, and then see how far we move over and how far we move up to get to the given point. So for point P here, we obviously move over 1, 2, 3 places, so that tells us our x-coordinate is 3, and then we move up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 places, so our y-coordinate is 7. So point P is at 3, comma 7. Here we're going to identify two points, uh, Q and R, and put them in point notation here, coordinate notation. Uh, we have our origin, 0, 0, and to find the location of, say, point Q, we start by figuring out how far over we move on the x-axis, 1, 2, 3 points. So our x-coordinate for point Q is 3, and then the y-coordinate is negative 1, negative 2 points, so our y-coordinate is negative 2. R is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 points on the x-axis, so it is an x-coordinate of 5, and a y-coordinate is the same, also negative 2. In example C, we're actually finding the coordinates of three points. They happen to be in a shape of a triangle, and they're telling us that we're looking for the coordinates of the vertices, but really it's exactly the same process we did with the examples A and B. We're looking for the coordinates of point A first, so A, we figure out how far we go on the x-axis. We go back negative 1, negative 2 points. So our x-coordinate is negative 2. And our y-coordinate, let me find a better color for drawing here. Our y-coordinate is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have negative 2, 5 as our point A. Then point B. We move over 1, 2, 3 on the x-axis, so our x-coordinate is, oops, <laughs> our x-coordinate is 3, <laughs> and our y-coordinate is uh, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So that one is 3, negative 3. And then for point C, we have negative 1, 2, 3, 4, so our x-coordinate is negative 4, and our y-coordinate is negative 1.